Merry Christmas to you, but especially to our flight crews. I'm flight attendant Jojo, welcome to my channel. Currently, I am a furloughed flight attendant for a mainline US carrier. We're one of the top airlines in the industry in America. But since I've been furloughed, I am news reporter Jojo. Yesterday, they agreed on a stimulus package. Some of you, just because you're not even in the airline industry, you're excited, but specifically, the people that do work in the airline industry, this is great news for them. First, I'll go over all the heated questions about what this entails for the airline industry. What did Congress actually pass? And then lastly, at the end of this video, I will be talking about what now I have to go through to return to work and if I'm even going back to work. Now you ask, why wouldn't I go back to work? That'd be a good question. I'll answer it at the end. Topic one, am I coming back? Yes, I'm coming back. FinFin's excited, I'm excited. FinFin's my dog. He's People say, I'm a Miss Jojo when she goes back to work. But what does it mean for the airline? They get $15 billion and for the airline to qualify for this, they have to bring back all of their furloughed employees until March 31st. That answers point two. Who gets to come back? Everyone is required to come back. Now that leaves a huge question. What about your seniority? It goes in seniority order on how you get called back. Well, in this case, it's not in seniority order. Jay Bravo wants to come say hi. He's also a YouTuber and my father. Yay, she gets to go to work now, that's good. Yay, <laughs> he's very against the stimulus and here we are. JoJo's excited, Jay Bravo could care less. So since everyone's coming back, they're not going to call and give you the option, do you want to come back? We understand you have a second job. No, everyone is coming back unless they were previously on a voluntary leave of absence, which some people, I don't know if you saw flight attendants debating, should I take a six month, a nine month, a year, two years? They offered that in 2020 um, towards the end of it. Well, I did not take one, so I will for sure be coming back. That's my only option, unless I wanna resign. So the email said, come back, come back be on your leave that you were already on, or we'll see you later. If you're a flight attendant and you already have a second job and you're debating, do I wanna come back? Uh, I wasn't on the leave, I already have another job. Please leave in the comments. I want to know what you're thinking. All right. What you're probably thinking is if you were furloughed, it meant there wasn't enough flights for you. Your company couldn't pay you. So that gets into my third point. Is everyone gonna be flying? No. My company furloughed 8,000 people. I am number 4,000 on the list. The information that was sent out is that 3,000 will probably be in flying status starting March. So do I think I'll be flying in March? Mm. I'm not in that 3,000. In that 3,000, there could be 1,000 people that did take those voluntary leaves, so maybe it does reach the 4,000. I am very on the fence whether I will be flying in March or not. Now, another flight attendant who messaged me, she's 800. She will definitely be flying in March. Point four of this video, and I'm going through this very fast. I have five points. What will it take to bring us all back? We are new hires. I'm a new hire, like I'm being treated like a new hire. I'm not a new hire, I've been with the company four years, thank goodness I have never been so excited to go back to work and be at four years seniority. This also wouldn't make sense, we're in December and I just said that we would only come back flying in March. The reason why it will take them until March to even bring 3,000 flight attendants back is because, like I said, we're new hires. We have to get drug tested. We have to get background checks. We have to go through training again. What? That qualifies for me in specific. I got hired in October 2016 and I have to go to recurrent training every November, between October and November. We got furloughed in October, November. So I did not get asked to go to training, flight attendant training, and it's a two day training. They cram all of your training into two days. I have to do that when 
I go back to flying. So if I am going back March, in February, you're gonna see a video of me in my training class. And with being a new hire, you have to pick your bases. I waited three years to get to LAX. I am from LA. I had to go to Miami and Chicago for years before I was allowed to be based in LA. And I've been here for one year. If I have to pick another base, which I do, I'm gonna be devastated. I still gotta put LAX as an option, but I want you guys to leave in the comments what bases you think I should choose. I will name off our 10 bases. Please, you know, tell me your base order and tell me your first and second pick and your reasons of why you would pick those bases. Because when I initially picked my base out of training as a new hire, I picked Miami because warm weather. It's winter. If I go back in March, yeah, winter going into spring, but on the East Coast, it's still gonna be very cold, and I am an LA girl, so when I picked my base, it was mainly weather and like financial situation. So off of those reasons, and give me like another bonus reason of why you would move to a certain place, I want to know your opinion in training. I think I got like an hour to decide my base. You kind of had an idea, and during this furlough, I knew there was a possibility of me being displaced, well, now I'm really coming to realize that I might be displaced and from the rumors, we have Facebook pages. Uh, the Facebook pages could be crazy. I wish I, you guys could just be a fly on the wall and look at what these flight attendants and what we joke about, but there has been a post and this could be rumor. There are a hundred spots at LAX. A hundred is nothing when they furloughed 8,000 people. So do I think I might be displaced? Uh, do I wanna start crying? No, so I'm just gonna say yes and move on off that topic and I will name off the bases, you tell me what you think because it might be a real thing that I have to choose a new place to live and work out of. I'm not gonna commute, I, or I, I'm not gonna say not, I hope, I don't want to commute. So that's the goal is to actually move to this city. We have Boston, Charlotte, DCA, DFW, LaGuardia, LAX, Miami, Chicago, Philadelphia, and San Francisco. I am not gonna tell you what my preferences are. Preference one is LAX, but um, I've already done Miami and I have lived in Chicago. I lived in Chicago for two years, so obviously I enjoyed it. I'm gonna process it and I'm gonna take your opinion before I like tell you what my thoughts are in the next video. Maybe I'll tell you. We have to decide, tell the company whether we're coming back or not by January 4th. That about sums it up. I want to hear your opinion. I'm excited. I am so thankful for all of your support and kindness. I appreciate you guys a lot and I am thankful that we are getting called back and we're doing the flight attendant vlogs again. I am looking forward to being back in the skies with you guys. Thank you so much for sticking through this rough time and these times ahead. I'm trying to be very optimistic and just excited for a new chapter in life. Finn Finn's running down the stairs, ready to play. You ready to play? Oh! He just walked away. I totally grabbed him. My dog just like walked away as if he has something better be doing. So it comes into effect March, well, December and then flying in March. So I won't be in the skies just yet, but when I go and get those drug tests and background checks, I will probably bring you guys along. And for now, I still got my flying videos for you. If you're a part of the airline industry, congrats, welcome back to the skies. I'm really excited for all of us. What a great Christmas present. And if you're not a part of the airline industry and you're just excited for your airline employees to be back, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. And if you have not subscribed, I'm flight attendant Jojo and I'm news reporter Jojo. Make sure you subscribe to get it all. I will see you guys later. Bye.